So this uh, this video will cover uh, the, the API error that you'll get for uh, non-registered users for uh, Steven Self's uh, Scraper app. So we're going to go into RetroPie Setup. Go on down here into Scraper. And show you what this looks like first try Famicom disk system there you go API closed for non-registered users sorry it's a uh, API closed for non-registered members let this uh, finish up and be right back okay uh, those ROMs have been scraped um, but obviously some of them were not because uh, we need to get registered with the with the scraper uh, website so that's what we're gonna do now go ahead and get on out of there Screenscraper.fr. It's a French site. So you'll notice you, it's uh, obviously going to be in French, and you'll have the opportunity to translate this page. If you translate it, there's a good chance that you'll you won't be able to um, use it, uh, any of the the buttons to register for an account. So just go ahead and bypass that, um, and. Uh, you can go ahead and do a new account. So you put in your your uh, nickname, your nickname, and your your password. Or redo the password, register your account, and uh, it'll send you an email. Uh, you activate the email like anything else, and uh, once activated, uh, you gotta put the username and password into uh, into the Scraper app. I'll show you that now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and log out. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, edit this uh, this file. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and put uh, put it in the description. It's a, a RetroPie setup uh, script module supplementary uh, scraper dot shell, and uh, it's in your in your home directory. And down here. You'll see we have these functions, 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 and right here where it says local parameters, enter in this uh, params uh, plus equal parenthesis tag ss underscore user with your username that you registered with, and params plus equals parenthesis tag ss underscore password and the password that you uh, registered with. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, close that and save it.
And so what I did here was I just copied my backup file uh, back onto the original um, instead of entering my username and password here. And uh, then we'll go ahead and get back into the RetroPy setup. There we are. And we'll go back into Scraper. And when we go ahead and scrape, uh, we should not be seeing uh, that API problem anymore. There will be obviously stuff that isn't found, but that's that's to be expected. And they're scraped. Uh, there you go. I uh, hope you find this useful.